minority leader, you may um, give you a few minutes. Whereas I agree, Honorable Speaker, that we, may, we need to put the question, uh, I thank you for indulging me so that I can say one or two things. First and foremost, I want to commend the work of the Budget Committee in the last couple of weeks. Chairperson Budget, you're being addressed. I don't know if he's Chair listening to me. Members are, members are hearing. Proceed. Okay. Uh, Honorable Speaker, I wanted to say that uh, I needed to commend the Budget and Appropriations Committee for the good work they have been able to do in the last couple of weeks. I can see my friend uh, Babu Wino is there. <laughs> I don't know who else is here. Members of the committee. Hey, Mashaku, Mashaku himself, the chairman of the CPs. Honorable Tandi is there. Uh, Honorable Ruto Dinga and many other members who have done an exceptional work, job in the last couple of weeks trying to deal with very serious issues. Uh, first and foremost was the issue of mediation, then the, on the, on the uh, division of revenue bill, and then they have dealt with the issue of the main estimates for the next financial year, and now they've been able to deal with this issue of supplementary estimates too. Honorable Speaker, as I commend the committee under the able chairmanship of my good friend, the Honorable King, uh, Ndindi Nyoro. Let me say one thing. We have got a problem still with money earmarked for political parties. Honorable Speaker, you will recall that in supplementary estimates one, monies that had been budgeted for political parties funding was reduced from 1.4 billion shillings to a mere 600 million shillings. That is a reduction by, of a whooping 800 million shillings. The committee has attempted to remedy the anomaly by reinstating back some money, a paltry 200 million shillings the committee of the budget. And I'm, I'm saying this because I'm aware that the parent committee on, of JLAC had not done justice to the political parties funding in their report to the budget committee. But that is now under the bridge. Uh, the committee on budget and appropriations has made some positive steps by bringing back some money. But that is not enough, especially bearing in mind that none other than a court of law gave orders that that reduction in supplementary estimate one was unconstitutional, Honorable Speaker. Honorable Speaker, I don't want to see a situation where by this House continues to be bombarded with court orders on issues which are straightforward, Honorable Speaker. The political party's fund is a fund which is ring fenced under the law, under the law. Honorable Speaker, if we look at political parties act at uh, section 23, 24, 25, it is clear the, the political parties fund is 0.3% of the total national revenue. Honorable Speaker, in the same manner the national government, the CDF fund is ring fenced, the political parties fund is equally ring fenced. Honorable Speaker, I want to plead that going forward, first and foremost, we needed to ensure that in this, in the new financial year, we, we, and we put in place enough money. We budget for the political parties funding in accordance with the law. But having done so, once we do so, let us, let us resist the temptation to reduce that money in the subsequent supplementary estimates. Because it will be contrary to the law, Honorable Speaker. Political parties are the foundation of our multi-party democracy. Political parties, functioning political parties are the basis of our multi-party democracy under the Constitution. And we must work extremely hard and ensure as a House that we are not part of the forces that are being seen as negating the spirit of multi-party democracy, which is enshrined in the Constitution. I hope and pray, I hope and pray as I conclude, that 
in the, the monies that have not been reinstated for the political parties funding are going to find their way in the main budget for the financial year 2024-2025. It is incumbent upon all of us to do so. Honorable Speaker, you know, sometimes people can argue. But let me tell you, the day you will kill political parties, and I can see Honorable David Ocheng, who is one of the political party leaders, is looking at me. Yes, Honorable Ocheng, you agree with me that political parties are critical institutions of governance. And they are institutions that we must, we must strive to strengthen as a house, as a house. I want to, and you know, I am, I am a proud member of the ODM party, Honorable Speaker. Not only a member, but a ranking member of the ODM party. And I am hoping that all of us who belong to various political parties will see the sense in ensuring that we protect those parties. The only way to do so is first by funding them adequately. Let me conclude again as I reiterate, Honorable Meli, please allow Honorable Nini to listen to me. Uh, let me conclude by reiterating what I said earlier on, that the Budget and Appropriations Committee is working under very difficult circumstances, trying to balance budgets under very, 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 very unfavorable fiscal uh, 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 environment. And I must commend them for the work that they have been doing. Let us continue to support this committee, which is the, what I would call the mother committee, you know, in this house. And with those very many remarks, Honorable Speaker, I want to support the appropriations bill for supplementary estimates too. And I hope and trust that this is going to be the last time we are dealing with what is called supplementary too. Going forward, let us do only one supplementary budget, if, if need be, Honorable Speaker. Thank you, and I support. Thank you, Honorable Members. I now put the question that the Supplementary Appropriations Bill, National Assembly Bill Number 32 of 2024 be read a second time. Will as many as of that opinion say aye? Aye. Will as many of the contrary opinion say nay? The ayes have it. A bill, point of order. Uh, a bill for an act of parliament to authorize the issue of certain sums of money out of the consolidated fund and the application towards the services.